In this video, we're going to go over a bipod by CV Life that actually has a lot of features for the money that you can buy on Amazon for under 40 bucks. All right, first things first, uh, CV Life sent me this bipod completely free of charge, so I did not pay for this, but they're not paying me to do this video. They just sent me the bipod and asked me to do a review. I told them that I wasn't going to do a review unless I was allowed to do an honest review. So I'm going to tell you what I think of this, whether that's good or bad. But first, I want to go over what's in the box real quick because I was actually interested in the fact that it had certain features, one of which is tilt. I'm a big fan of tilt in a bipod because it's really nice to be able to adjust minor inclinations in your ground that you're shooting off of. But also the two things that I'm kind of excited about, well, maybe I shouldn't say excited. One thing I'm excited about, the other is just kind of a nice bonus. But one thing that I'm really excited about for a bipod in this price range, especially for it being something that's coming from Amazon, is that it actually includes a lever lock, which I'm a huge fan of. And for some reason, you only see that on like nicer bipods, it seems like a lot of times. That might be changing, but this is something I almost never see except on like expensive bipods. And I don't know why that is because this is such a huge deal to me. Like being able to put a lever on here instead of just having this little thumb wheel, which can be hard to get on some guns or hard to get to rather with your fingers. And it also sometimes is really stiff and hard to actually lock down to prevent the tilt. This makes it way more robust. You can actually get a good, nice, solid clamp on that sucker and keep it really solid so that it doesn't tilt when you don't want it to. So the lever lock is a big deal, but the M lock adapter is a bonus that I'm a fan of because everybody has M lock rails for the most part. So this is by far more predominant than doing like a key mod adapter or something along those lines. But um, not that there's anything wrong with key mod, but M lock's just a lot more popular. So now you can have a swivel stud on like your M lock rail on your AR or your chassis that will allow this to bolt right to it. So pretty much right out of the box, you're ready to go on just about any common platform, but they also give you longer screws. At least I think that's what these are, but uh, it seems to me like they did their homework and made sure to give you everything you need in order to make sure that you're set up for just about any rail. So I appreciate that. Thank you for thinking ahead. Like I said, we'll see if this bipod's worth it on or not. I'm actually kind of excited to play with it, but it's a pretty standard six to nine inch leg Harris style bipod. Uh, you attach it to a swivel stud. Obviously it's got the rubber pads. It has the tilt built in, which we're going to switch the wheel for the lever lock, obviously. But then it also has notched legs, which I'm a huge fan of. I hate the smooth leg bipods that have like the, uh, the wheel that tensions down on it. If that's your preference, it's okay to be wrong. But the point is I'm a huge fan of the notch legs. It really just is my preference. Not that there is actually anything wrong with other options, but this is, this is much more solid to me. Um, it's just kind of the way that I like to run my bipods. But anyway, this is my favorite, so I'm looking forward to using this. We'll see how the, the carbon fiber-ish-esque part of this holds up. We'll see if that's actually going to be something that is um, solid or fragile. But I don't know, it may just be an overlay that makes it look like carbon fiber and that's actually aluminum. <laughs> I can't really tell to be honest with you. But we're gonna go ahead and throw this probably on a 30 out six that I also have to do a video on and do some shooting with it probably on some other platforms. I'm more than likely gonna do just a voice overlay of it, but we'll see as the video progresses. So that's everything you get in the box. You get your lever lock, the bipod itself, your unlock adapter, some extra screws and two Allen keys to make it all go together. Let's get moving. Okay, so fast forward 60 seconds. Uh, I was mounting this bipod, and I don't know if you can already see or not, but uh, here comes the honest part of the whole review process. So right there, the roll pin on that foot is already coming out, like, and it's almost completely out. So I'm gonna have to punch that back in just to get it reseated. I guess I can push it with my finger, which is also not a good thing, um, but we might try to fasten that a little better in some way shape or fashion but be on the lookout for that falling out <laughs> while we're shooting because i literally just put it on this little nine millimeter pcc and it's already trying to work its way out so we're off to a good start moving on all right so we have taken this thing out we have done quite a bit of shooting with it we have mounted it to multiple platforms and we have shot quite a few rounds through it in different configurations because we have used that M-Lock adapter to mount it to some guns and to others we have just used the swivel stud mount directly without the adapter onto M-Lock rails and whatnot. But I'm going to start with the bad and then we are going to talk about the good for this bipod and we will kind of develop some final thoughts from that. So 
We've already talked a little bit about the features that it had, and we will go over more of those <clears throat> throughout the video, but the bad starts with, and ironically ends with, these feet. And it was not the feet themselves that were issues so much as when I installed this initially onto a little nine millimeter AR, the roll pin like almost completely came out of the foot. I mean, it just out of nowhere, I looked down and saw that the roll pin was protruding so far that it was about to fall out, which I demonstrated in the beginning of this video. And I pushed it back in. I think I, I pushed it back in most of the way by hand and then I used a punch to just fully seat it and make sure that it was actually all the way in the foot and even on both sides. I was going to put some tape over it or Loctite or something, just basically something to reinforce that and make sure that it didn't come out again. But I realized that almost kind of defeated the point of the test because I was going to have to modify it out of the box, which uh, doesn't make for a very good review if you actually have to, you know, completely change the product itself in order to make it work correctly. So I did not mess with it. And the good news is it did not come back out. It actually, in fact, it did not even try to come back out. We never had another issue with it coming loose or backing out or anything like that. Now, I don't know that the next time I shoot it, it won't just completely fall out without me even noticing. That's very, very possible. Um, I hope that doesn't happen, but up until this point, it has not even made an attempt to try to come back out. I don't even remember which foot it was on actually, but um, it wasn't a problem. So I am glad to say that it uh, was very concerning in the beginning, but it did not present an issue after that. Now, that was really the only con that I had to say about this bipod. It's a $40 bipod, guys. It's under $40. If <clears throat> the last time I looked on Amazon, it was under 40 bucks. And for that, you get a Harris style bipod. Now, when I say that, I'm talking about just this general design where you have typically a six to nine inch leg, which they can come in all kinds of different leg lengths, but that's by far your most common. And then you have your notched legs, which again, I am a huge fan of. I I do not like the thumb wheel with the smooth legs. I just, personally, it's just not my thing, but I love the notched legs. They're really simple to use. I will say that um, for those of you that are unfamiliar with these kinds of bipods, these actually have a little bit of wiggle to them under that spring tension, which gives you a little bit of bounce when you're on certain firearms. So I would at least go out to that first notch if you can, because when you press against that, you don't get that that bounce or that spring tension because the spring, all the slack's been taken up in it and it's no longer resting on it. So any notch above that first initial just being completely compressed is a little bit better for precision style shooting because you don't have to worry about that sucker being under spring tension and having <clears throat> that bounce, especially when you're trying to load a bipod for shooting small groups. But anyway, with that aside, I'm a huge fan of the notch legs. I I don't really like shooting anything other than the notch legs personally. They're, they're a good way to go. <clears throat> but another thing that I'm a huge fan of is the fact that for 40 bucks, again, I'm, I'm making that very clear because the price point is definitely appealing, is <clears throat> the tilt that's built into this bipod. So being able to have that tilt option to me is huge. I won't buy another bipod that doesn't have this in it unless there's some very, very special purpose for it because this is so freaking convenient when you're either laying down to shoot groups or if you are, um, if you're doing low development or if you're hunting, hunting is a big one because hunting you don't usually, maybe you do, but a lot of times you won't have time to make small adjustments to your bipod before you have to take a shot. At least there's a lot of instances where that's been an issue for me. If you are shooting in the prone, which unfortunately you don't get a lot of opportunities to do that either. But if you do your set yourself up in a way where you can shoot prone, which is definitely um, appealing to me because you've, it's a lot easier to make a good ethical shot, but the ability to lock down this tilt with the lever is fantastic. And if you guys are not uh, familiar with these kinds of levers, which um, not all of them are gonna have this, but you can actually pull back on this, rotate it, and that releases the tension and then it clicks back in and then you can tighten it even more. So that's how you actually adjust where you want this knob to rest. So if you don't want it to actually be sitting like this all the time and you know that's too loose, then you can adjust that notch to where it's got some tension on it, but it's not totally cranked down. And you can just make sure that that lever is out of the way or sitting more flush up against the gun so it's not near as a hindrance because a lot of people don't like these levers because um, they're more bulky. 
which is why the the thumb wheel is fine for a lot of people but for me this is just this is way way better and i just prefer that method of locking down your tilt so i like the tilt feature i like the lever lock feature a lot the m-lock adapter that it comes with works fine i never had to use the longer screws everything worked fine with the shorter screws but i'm sure there's some application where that would uh, come in handy but I don't really have anything bad to say about this bipod. We threw it on a few different platforms. I didn't have any issues with them. Um, any of them really, they didn't really pose a problem. <clears throat> the majority of the time we shot it on a 30-06, a 9mm PCC, and a 6.5 Creedmoor in a target rifle, which I will be showing in the footage that you will be watching probably right now. And it just didn't really give me anything to complain about. I am not trying to overstate the fact that this is an Amazon bipod, <laughs> but it's it's just, I think it's a good value for the money because <clears throat> a lot of folks have spent a lot of money on Harris bipods and things like that, and I am not trying to knock Harris at all, but I do think that if you're going to go out of your way to spend $100 to $150 on a bipod and you get, say, a Harris, for instance, you could get three of these or something similar for the same price or close to it and you get a lot of the same features and sometimes in this case more for what you're paying for because a lot of times you buy those harrises and you still have to go out of your way to buy the additional lever and you got to go out of your way to buy m-lock adapter swivel stud adapters and things like that and again that's all included in this box so again i'm not getting paid to make this video i just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on it because they sent me the thing for free so i figured i'll go ahead and go out and do some shooting with it and i'll give some honest opinions on it <clears throat> i like it it does have i forgot to mention but this is pretty common it has a uh sling stud here so that you can actually attach this to your rifle and still use your sling mount if you do want to put a sling on this so that you can still use it on like a hunting rifle and still have your sling hooked up while you've got the bipod attached but the bipod did good. It didn't really have any major issues aside from that roll pin trying to come out in the beginning. It was uh, kind of a weird deal, but it didn't really come back up, so I just kind of forgot about it. But thing did a good job. I'm happy with it. I would honestly buy another one if I was going to go buy a pi bipod tomorrow. I don't know that I would really pony up the money to get a Harris. And like I said, I've had much more expensive bipods, but if you are on a budget and you don't want to spend a hundred and some dollars on a very very simple bipod i'd give these guys a look and i'm not going to get a kickback for saying any of this i just want to give an honest opinion um if <clears throat> if some some bad stuff comes up with this and the thing just completely falls apart tomorrow i i will change this video <laughs> and i will have those those thoughts presented to you in some form shape or manner but uh things done good and um i just really think that we pretty much covered all the bases here it's it's a good little bipod for the money and i think that honestly it's it's worth the money that i did not spend on it so <laughs> anyway with that being said thank you guys very much for watching this video if you have not checked out risen citizen in its other formats such as facebook instagram our website youtube whatever you have not seen yet we appreciate you checking out any of those other links in the description below if they are there because hopefully you're seeing this on youtube currently i uh, would appreciate you going over there and checking them out if not enjoy your day stay risen and hopefully we will see you soon and we will talk to you next time take care